Just saying, what's the matter? I have bad news. How bad? Bad, bad. I've intercepted this. If we've confirmed Arizona's identity, why don't we move in and arrest him directly? Because we're trying to restore peace to this planet, not get more of my men killed. Chicago. I'd like to believe we're all reasonable men. Send out a unit to pick up his son, and I think you'll find it becomes much easier to take down Arizona Higgins. It's a trap. Yes. Arizona, you're not going. Where's Nebraska? Not telling. Where's my son? Benny's fuel and repair. <laughs> Thing is, if anything should happen to me, watch over Nebraska. City's changed a lot in the past few years. I mean, yeah, there were always checkpoints and curfews and stuff, but they were never really enforced until Drunken Man put in one of their massive control towers. Looks like a giant baby bottle. It smells like a baby bottle. No, it doesn't. I, I don't know why I said that. Every Tuesday afternoon, I take my friend's little brother out to see the town. It gives us both kind of a chance to get out. On that particular day, I was taking him to the new Joint Command Tower to see the repair yard where I work. And this kid loves ships. No, I mean, he really loves ships. Like, like some people might love chocolate or uh, driving with high beams on, or women. I mean, not him, of course. He's, he's a little too young for that. Maybe, maybe in a few years. You know I like a good woman. Okay. So you get to work here every day? Close to it. Welcome to Benny's Fuel and Repair. What do you want to see first? What's that? That's a TS-8 Spiderhawk. They used to use them as postal lifters a few decades back. Do you get to use that? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, it's too complicated for me. Just you and the Larians can use it. Yeah, I've been working on my potential. I almost changed the channel on the TV. Yeah? Well, congratulations. What's that? That's an 04 Boulderwick, left here by Penningham. He's a very mean guy. Arizona!
come to you, you will be my beacon, Nebraska Higgins. There's a kid in there, okay? A kid! I think he had a seizure. You gotta get him in the hospital. Don't worry about it. We'll take care what of it. What are you patronizing me? Let me call Shannon Baker and let him know about her brother. Flight 48, now the doctor to the field. I'm sorry, his time's up. Congratulations to William for that. The winner of the Chicago Look Alive Contest. Caution, there is a coffee drop on floor 383. Level 481 to 483 will be closed okay. today to continue as tested plan. Mr. Redworth, please report to the oh, The temperature is 21 degrees. All right, you Higgins, you're good to go. We're all going to die someday. Today is Tuesday. You're the girl from the police station, aren't you? The one who paid my bail? Good memory. So what, are you part of the London Underground? Bingo! You've been following me? We owed your father that much. What? I thought I lost them. Benin, it's safe. Am I one of dead or alive or just alive? Either why? Dang, no reason. Nice to finally meet you, Nebraska. Hey, freeze! Hey! Right there! Right there! Stay, stop right there! She's interfering with the ultrasonics! Somebody turn off the sound! I could have fought him off, you know. Benin's been training me. Things will come in handy. Yeah, my dad thought that too. So how many people know that you're half Nilardian? A few dozen. Apparently a few more now. <laughs> you blew up the lights with your mind. Did I? I thought that was you. <laughs> Thanks for rescuing me. Yeah, you're welcome. Let's have that tea. Uh, let's go out somewhere. Um, you might want to take it easy. You might have internal bleeding or something. Nebraska Higgins! Zing, zing, fix. I'm Dominic. You're all under arrest. No, we're not. If it weren't for him, you'd be shot. How you enjoying my job? Your old job? Oh, it's great. More than great. I'm surprised you ever gave it up. Me too. So, what do we do now? Uh, we have them all here. Set down the tension. Now there's an idea. 
Why don't you make the call? What are you all doing? Shut man? up! There she is. Honestly, Mr. Balabora, I'm not here to try to understand you. I'm just here to arrest you. I just thought of that. That's pretty good, huh? Benning? Relax in. Jerry, got any bright ideas? Did he just say Jerry? Not the Jerry. Stay calm. Is this Jerry from Project London, Jerry? Why do you think they're called the London Underground? Why is he on Earth? He should be dead! Hey, calm! Hold your fire or we're dead! We shouldn't be here! Why didn't you tell me? Shut up! Oh, Zing. damn! Zing! <laughs> Jerry! my car. They stole my car! What? You're all insane. We can't outrun a tank ship. We don't have to. Why are they only using the minigun? They're waiting for a good shot. Get Zing out of the car. Let's go. Which way? Which way? This way. Over here. Come on. Sweet home. Sing, are you all right? What were you doing I in my house? So. Did it hit bone? I don't think so. Why were you all in my dad's Nebraska, house? Nebraska, priorities. So what, were you just at the palm to make sure I didn't go home? What is he doing? Jerry, he's healing himself. Shouldn't he go to a hospital or something? No, not really. But he's been shot. I mean, repeatedly. Nebraska. Chill, no! No, I just lost all my earthly possessions. My father died less than a week ago. There's a kid in a coma and it's probably my fault and everyone's getting shot. I think this is one of those rare occasions where I'm allowed to be unchilled. What would your father say? No, don't, don't do that. Everything was just fine till he joined up with you guys. He had reasons for doing what he did. If you leave here, they'll find you in a heartbeat. Well, I could always turn you in. <sighs> you wouldn't. It's hard to say. You could change things, you know. I see the power within you to right the wrongs done to you. Make the world as you know it should be. So this, this is the afterlife for 
Jerry, right? What, do you not talk or something? Okay. Well, if you're following me, I really don't have anywhere to go, so... Look, no offense, but I'm kind of trying to stay away from you guys. Uh, fine, fine, but just because I want to see where a guy like you goes in his free time. What, do you like cats or something? Oh, right. You guys have really screwed up my life, you know that? Hey, why the scarf? Hey, Jerry! Jerry! Hey! Both of you, come in, quick, quick. Honestly, it's been too long. Far too long. Oh, I'm Canada. <laughs> My name, not the country. Otherwise, it'd be a bit crowded in here, eh? <laughs> you Higgins' son? It happens. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, uh, my condolences. He was a good man, Arizona. Thanks. But now, here's a quandary. Why would Jerry bring you here? Supplements he can get on his own. I can only infer that he has ulterior motives. He often does. Meaning to imply, of course, that you want me to scan his maximum potential ceiling. Oh, that's weird. What? It's reading 75. Why is that weird? I haven't turned the machine on yet. Whoa, that is not possible. It's not what you think. It's, there's something wrong with this scan. Your body wouldn't be able to hold together. <coughs> what does that mean? Nothing. The machine's broken. Ah, there they go, interrupting our tea time again. Fine, go. Go to your rendezvous. Thanks for the tea and the scan thing. Yeah, no problem. My pleasure. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't forget your supplements and tea. Did anyone see you? I don't think so. Nebraska. I'd like you to meet the Richards. I've known them since uh, a while. Pleased to meet you. Same to you. Hannah's are a publicist, more or less. You flatter me. Hardly. Oh! Richard's home 101. In case of investigators, the tiles underneath the bathtub open to reveal a hiding place. Don't play on the roof and uh No excessive yelling. Yeah. Right. Nebraska. That would make you Higgins' son, wouldn't it? There's something I want to show you when I'm finished with things like here.
You have a goose? Your bus. You can fix it. You serious? What, you just give me a goose? Why? I owe it to your father. Besides, I have little interest in fixing up an archaic lifter. Cost too much to junk it. Hmm, ducky. Got any tools? like an idiot. No. No, you look like an idiot. Put the hands out! That's what you get. Next time I'll take more than just your hand. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? I'm... I'm an idiot. Hey, quick question for you. A quick question or trick question? Why are you still here with us? I don't know. And besides the fact that Mr. Richards has given me this lift? I mean, arguably, it's our fault your father's gone. And that I'm a fugitive from the law. That too. Thanks, Jerry. I'm really not that fond of pancakes. These are crepes. We're a ship without a rudder. Arizona's just going to fade out. Couldn't you pilot the exosuit? Jerry, maybe, if we had one. But it's locked down. Well, if at all possible, get it back. Hey, guys, I think the goose is fixed. Now you do realize it's entirely possible we'll crash and die, yes? Oh, I plan on it. Well, good. As long as we have an understanding. the dashboard fix the engine i don't know but i'm going to take it as a good omen you can if you want this in yet.
Hey, bud. You hanging in there? Supposed to be getting surgery later today. Then you'll be great, right? I fixed the goose. I actually flew it here. When you're ready, I'll fly us all out to Kano Island. Spent some of my best summers there. Drop. I better know what you're thinking right now. I bet you do too. Jerry arriving, I have no way of knowing. Get them in the lifter now! Are you in the Let's go, come on! Move, move, move! Jerry's on the roof! I think that was luck. Open fire! Kill me? Jerry, I, I'm not really up for this now. D you're right. You're right. Let me know where you're going. You're going. Okay. <laughs> Nebraska, you're my son. <sighs> Start over. Start over. Start over. Nebraska, I'm old. By now you must have realized that, that I don't age like the rest of you. It's, it's been 70 years since the Nalardians landed on Earth and, and I've only aged 10. The Project London experiments done on our home planet were unfortunate. But I won't go into the reasons. What matters more is the results. I'm sure you wondered why we were always moving when you were younger. I'm sorry, I never really had a good answer for you. Suffice it to say, Joint Command always had an interest in you. Well, the primary goal may have been some, you know, super soldier mumbo jumbo. The secondary objective was to see what the 
changes were in our offspring. That's you. Hello, offspring. If you're seeing this, that means I'm either captured or dead. If that's the case. And I'll tell you what I should have told you all along. I'm proud of you. You've always made me proud. I hope you can understand why things happened the way they did. I love you, son. I'm pretending I'm hugging you, Nebraska. Why do you guys do it? I mean, why are you fighting Joint Command? Unlike the rest of this uninformed populace, I know what the real goals of the London Underground are. I even know why you call yourselves the London Underground. I'll be frank. You aren't the two I wanted, but you already knew that. Let's see the Richards go. Let them go? I'm still having a little internal debate over whether to execute just you or all of you. Global security, of course. No, 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 no. Oh. On the grounds that I have no idea if either of you are going to suddenly transform into giant beasts and destroy the planet. Um. Is that the sort of thing either of us is likely to do? You tell me. A hundred years ago, back before Nilardians came to Earth, Command was doing experiments, unlocking the secrets of potential as part of a wee small top secret program, loosely translated to Project London. Their first subject was a history professor named Jerry. Yes, Jerry. He was subject A. After the experiment, which involved removing the psychophysical block innate in all Nilardians, Subject A would become immensely powerful. Big style. The potential took him over. Half a town was battered off the map before anyone realized what was happening. He was only pacified by Subject B, who had undergone the same operation, but without a complete removal of the block. Subject B was your father. What? How can they just... I just... Eyes on screen. Against the advice of, oh, everyone, command ordered that a third subject be made, Subject C. A turnip named Oma Vala volunteered to be the subject. Horrific failure. The potential took over Oma completely. And when they tried to control their botched job, his body absorbed everything that they could throw at him. The walls of his cell, bullets, vehicles, bullets, buildings. He became an immense beast, leveling cities with insane speed. Pieces of him broke off and became new monsters. It was then that Command decided it was a good time to vacate the planet. So the surviving Nilardians pegged together immense ships and blazed to Earth, where we bartered for our place on your world. So a moon wasn't really going to crash into your planet? Heavens no. We could move a moon if we wanted to. But I imagine the welcome mat would have been yanked if we told you that a giant mutant biomechanical beast had destroyed our world. So why is the London Underground still fighting Joint Command? I mean, just revenge? Revenge? Ha! <laughs> no. Joint Command has restarted Project London. I'm trying to figure out a way of breaking Zing out of prison. And the others, too.
that's why I don't use potential. I mean, no control. Why don't you use it, Jerry? I mean, I hear you have a lot of it. So I take it you, you lose control too. I think we're ready. You know Zing and I weren't even involved in Project London. You're just trying to remove the evidence of Command's mistake. You are a thinker. That's going to serve you real well. Or not as that I'm planning on executing you. The only danger this planet is in is from Joint Command. <laughs> Why would you bring Project London back up? There are so many things going on that you just have no idea about. Chicago's going to be arriving tonight with the defense fleet. I'm sure he'll be able to decide what to do with you. Chicago's coming to Seattle. Why? <laughs> there was a time when you had the authority to ask that question. The guards say they've captured Nebraska Higgins at the gate. Speak of the devil. Looks like I might just catch you all tonight. A sword? Take him to interrogation room B. That was one stupid plan. What, the pizza thing? Yeah, they're perfectly fine. Has everyone had them? Uh, there's sausage, pepperoni, I just have stuff. one question for you. Where's Jerry? I know you're not an idiot. Therefore, I know you know that I'm not an idiot. So you know I know this was part of the plan, getting caught. It's a pretty stupid plan. I think part of whatever plan you have for freeing your comrades somehow involves you being inside this building. But then I'd have to figure out a way of distracting you so I could escape. That wouldn't be easy. It's not as hard as you might think. Attention, all first shift support personnel. Please remember to bring a picture of your cat for Tuesday's Pet Social. What, was, was something supposed to happen there? It's not as hard as you might think. What are you doing? It's not me, it's Jim. You're coming with us! This is not as well. Wait, wait, I have a question. What? Do you guys really have drills where you practice going to the back of the building? Yes! He's bluffing. Your lifter's engines are off. It's coasting on pure momentum. What's his extrapolated trajectory? Front walk. Take it down! It's Jerry! Blood was spurting all over the place. Are you in your shirt? <laughs> nah. It's all over the floor, though. We're saving him. Where's the Richards? We don't know. Where's Jerry? The intense and hardcore. This is not a drill. Open fire. Oh, 
the most impressive flying I've ever seen. No, I don't remember any of it. This is bad. This is bad, bad. Why? You really don't remember anything. Well, no, nothing except reaching for the thruster. It's okay. <laughs> it's all okay. What is Nebraska? The potential temporarily took over your mind. No, 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 no. No way, it can do that? Why did you think they regulate the potential so closely in everyone? They're scared. Just took you over. It's a bad thing. Well, how bad? Bad, bad. Last time it happened. Have you ever heard of Subject C? Unprecedented turn of events. Joint command today confirmed that dangerous elements of the London Underground escaped custody and eluded command officers on a high speed lifter chase under and over Seattle. <laughs> hey! <laughs> cake! Ah! Hey! Victory cake! <laughs> we rock! We rock! We rock! We rock! <laughs> this victory cake is dedicated to our newest member, Nebraska Higgins! Yeah! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey Higgs, what's wrong? No, nothing. Yeah, it's great, that cake. <laughs> you feeling like a jerk for almost turning this in earlier? Because crashing a ship into the fifth precinct more than redeems anything. <laughs> Intense! Why would Chicago come to see you? So, are you with us now? You mean the London Underground? 
Well, apparently. Jerry, I gotta finish. Grab the net. Hurry up. Jerry, the net. Not, not the, the net. Come on. Your father was very important to Jerry. Arizona brought him back from the brink at a time when the world wanted to destroy him. He took Arizona's death really hard. So, are you ready for tomorrow? Yep. I'm actually a little excited. Yeah, I guess I am too. So here's the plan. We dress up in classy disguises and we fly to Acarias, the floating restaurant, a well-known watering hole for Joint Command officers. Reports say they're also using the restaurant to covertly ship Project London supplies. So, Jerry and Bennon will hide in the back while Nebraska and I go to our reserve table. When the goose is loaded into the garage, Jerry and Bennon will sneak out and infiltrate the wait staff. When the time is right, they'll take over the bridge. Nebraska and I will oversee the evacuation of everyone down below two hours later. It'll take us four hours total to reach the Project London complex, at which point we'll crash the restaurant into the facilities and save the world. Booyah! Hey, bud. Hey, thanks for the lift. Not a problem. You look nice. Thanks, you too. It's in Nebraska. You ready for tonight? Am I wearing pants? Let's go. Take it away, Jerry! Nicola. You aren't doing any better. It's you. How are you? Gentlemen. We're doing all right. Just uh, having a little trouble questioning the prisoner. This lovely young woman here. <sighs> she wouldn't be a problem to anybody. Were you? Why don't you tell me what it is these incompetent men are trying to find out? We were trying to find the location. Shh. But... Shh. Shh. She knows what you want. They said they wanted to know the location of the London Underground. <laughs> the pesky London Underground. <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question. But before you answer, I want you to be sure you understand what it is you're saying. Look at me! Do you know where they might be? They're going to Icarius. What a wonderful restaurant. Thank you, Anna Richards. You've been a great help. I really 
only hope. In this world, gentlemen, reputation is everything. Capture the London Underground. Denied. The London Underground are no longer part of the equation. The equation? Gentlemen, allow me to introduce a little paradigm shift. Subject C appeared within the moon's orbit 20 hours ago. We have one hour before impact. I thought we weren't expecting it's it for another- It's faster than we knew. Sorry, my mind's just somewhere else. I keep wondering if I'll be taken over again in all the excitement. Well, stop. You look suspicious, and you're not as much fun. Is fun really the number one priority here? I enjoy light atmosphere. Besides, these people don't know they're going to be hijacked for at least a few more hours. <laughs> 21 minutes and counting. Sir, the London Underground are still a threat. We've been tracking them down for the past two years. Two years, I know. Which is why you can't seem to grasp that at this moment, they're the last thing we should be worrying about. Sir, please. The only reason they remain a threat is if they still had Arizona and the exosuit. Uh, you can go. Anything to shut you up. Nicola, come. We can't take on here. No way. Nicola, come on. Shut up and get out of here. Sir, I think it's broken. Subject C is reading 2,000 bats. Well, that's impossible, isn't it? Didn't they say it was impossible to be over 1,000? Your body explodes. Who are you? Get out of here. Nicola? Take over. The thing you have to understand about potential is its only goal is to have a goal. It attaches itself to a desire, be it moving a piece of machinery or dimming a light, and it becomes an extension of that. When you blacked out the other day, your only thought was to escape from the lifters that were after us, and you did. Moral of the story, if you get really mad at someone, you could kill them. Or cross the threshold and become a planet-destroying beast. We're hijacking this restaurant. Save the planet. You know, Jerry, being as though this is the control room, I kind of expected people to be in here. Estimated six minutes till impact. Activate the mesospheric potential barrier.
When should we tell everyone to evacuate? Not for a while. You want to dance? Hold on, Jerry. This party's about to go south. Like, literally. You can't tell, but the restaurant's accelerating southward. Center of the outer atmosphere. It'll hit the barrier in four minutes. Are you a husband, officer? What? No, sir. Why? Everything depends on these next few minutes. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Sir, we've taken control of the vessel. Like hell you have. Please, have a seat. Uh-uh. Jerry. Oh, snap. Subject C will hit the barrier in two minutes. Welcome to Carriers. Get up! London Underground! You will not hijack this restaurant! Something's up. I'll be right back. Why are you here alone, Dominic? I'm not. There's a whole fleet waiting outside to take you down. No, there isn't. Why are you here alone? Allow me to introduce a paradigm shift. In just a few minutes, we will have impact from Subject C. What? what? Why do you think Project London started up again, huh? Joint Command is not a bunch of idiots. Subject C can only be stopped by another subject. So you're saying you created a Subject D to fight Subject C? Well, I don't believe it. Believe it! I didn't do it! It's here! Subject C impact! We have barrier impact! Barrier strength at 40%. Subject C holding position at 19.6 miles. Jerry, Nebraska, my only friends. You've dedicated your lives to hiding your true potential. For what purpose? Nebraska, the ones who killed your father still sit in power. Jerry, look at yourself. Deformed, unloved. Help me. Jerry, why aren't you in the cockpit? I'd advise you to leave now, Dominic. I'm not afraid of Jerry. You're not. Hot. What's wrong with Nebraska? I don't know. Grab it, let's go. This place sure vacated fast. Over there, come on, let's go.
Seven. Sole control five. of beam satellite five. has been given to One. Dominic in Force Lifter 5. Confirmed. Deny. Too late, sir. Deny! I can't! abandoned us, Nebraska. But you, you remain. The power you work so hard to keep inside. I wonder how much you can take. Subject C's potential output dropping. 2,000 vats? 1,500? 1,200 in holding. What is it doing? Are you still in there, Oma? Dominic has activated beam satellite. Investigator, I order you to stand down. I'm not gonna let them destroy the planet, Chicago. We can't control Jerry. What if he fuses with... So thank me later. Jerry, Bennon, my regards. Beam satellite shattered barrier shield. Subject C is resuming the send. Dominic! How? Till morning at least. It's resting. How could you know that? I spoke with Oma. Nebraska, do you know who Oma is? He's the man who became Subject C, the destroyer of the Nalardian world. Scared, Zing. You shouldn't be. Yes, I should. I mean, I was already losing control. Now I've accepted more power from Oma and Subject C than anyone besides them has ever had. I mean, what if I do lose control? You won't lose control. Everyone else has. Feel all of it. Every piece of machinery from here to Puddlewood. <coughs> Don't worry about it, it's just me. What's gonna happen? Well, he's hungry. He's trying to feed on a new world. Nebraska. 
There comes a time in a man's life when he needs to man up. Be a man. Man. Take it from me. Reading is steady, 1,200 bats. Perimeter holding. We have interference. He's reading more than 1,000% potential. I dislike having two organisms define the laws of physics in the same town. Subject C is emerging. What are we doing, exactly? Why are they following us? They're scared. I don't blame them. No one in the right mind would intentionally go where we're going. It's so small. Let's see if we can nip this in the bud. We have complete detonation failure. What? No. Fire everything we have! Sir? Do it! Missile launch confirmed. Missiles launched and incoming. Exosuit. Not possible. It's too secure. Potential. Is it Higgins? Higgins is dead, sir. The other one. Missiles launched and incoming.
wave the planet goodbye. Uh, sir, all missiles have detonated prematurely. Prepare to evacuate the planet? Wait, what is that? Beam satellite targeted at latitude 47.5, longitude 122.2. Today is Tuesday. Warning. Potential surge is... Warning. What? Warning. See away from us. Can you actually defeat it? Who can say?
Oh, man. We gotta get out of the slammer. We should definitely break out. Definitely. Shh. Do you want him to hear you? Hmm. But how will we ever break out of the slammer? Shh. I have a plan. Now that was a good plan. <laughs>